Um, let's talk royals this morning, shall we? Prince Harry has been pretty vocal about his dislike of the British tabloids, media in general. Now he'll have his day in court with the very publication he claims hacked his phone, but it won't center around that specific allegation. A judge ruled Thursday that the Duke could only sue the Sun over its alleged attempts to gather other personal information through private detectives. Joining us now to discuss is Newsweek's chief royal correspondent, Jack Royston. Um, Jack, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Um, okay, walk us through what Harry's fighting for this time around, and, and what kind of dirt does he say that these private eyes dug up on him this time? So this it has been a massive, massive blow for Prince Harry. Make no mistake about it. There are two sides to this case. One side is the phone hacking. The other is other unlawful information gathering techniques. But the phone hacking was the big piece of it. Um, and so the fact that a judge has sided with the newspaper and dismissed his case on phone hacking is huge for him. It will be a massive disappointment. He wanted to prove that the son had lied in their denials and he won't get a chance to do that. So the other stuff, really, you're talking about kind of what in Britain is termed blagging, which is, I, I know, not an American phrase, but what it kind of means is you call somebody up, a reporter would call somebody up, and they would pretend to be Harry or pretend to be his girlfriend and try to, to trick a company into releasing some of his uh. private information. So one aspect of it is, for example, flight records for his ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy at the time that they were going out. And Harry is saying they used this information to make sure they were there when she touched down in Britain or we found out where they were going on holiday together and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so for him, what he's really saying, I mean, it's not even just about the private nature of the information. It's about him saying that they were using these techniques in order to basically stalk him and his girlfriend and ruin their lives gotcha. and destroy their relationship. Why did, so, talk, to, talk to me a little bit more about the cell phone hacking, though. I mean, why did the judge throw that part of it out? What was his reasoning behind that ruling? So it's kind of a technicality, but he said that Harry filed the case too late. So you have to bring a case within six years, which is designed to kind of stop people, I guess, from just dragging stuff up from the ancient past. But Harry's perspective is, well, he was in the royal family for a long time, and he only really kind of was... Uh, who felt able to do this much later in 2019. Now, we know that Harry's phone was hacked by, a by the News of the World, uh, a tabloid was closed down many years ago. They apologized for it in 2006. The, so, his, so what he's trying to do now is trying to say, OK, well, you know about that News of the World thing, but I'm going to prove the Sun did it too. And the Sun has always denied it. And in his witness statement, Harry accused them of issuing what he termed false denials, i.e. lies. So he was accusing them of lying. And he gave this big kind of monologue in his witness statement about how, you know, the government are corrupt and the media are corrupt. And there's this whole corrupt relationship, which meant that people got away with things and all of this kind of stuff. So yeah. he won. It's a political point as well as a personal point that he's trying to make. He also and gave a long monologue to... in his book Spare. <laughs> about... <laughs> you know what? It was a Honestly, whole monologue the uh, about, uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his, his disapproval uh, of the media. Um, yeah. Harry has openly discussed the alleged pact between the newspaper executives, the royal family officials that prevented him from bringing forth these claims sooner. The judge also threw that out. I mean, so with all of yeah. these different facets of the case now, now not being considered, do you think Harry has a chance here at, at this one? Well, the judge did actually suggest that it, he could still lose the rest on the same grounds. I mean, the judge didn't say that he is certain that the rest of the case is, you know, filed on time, so to speak. He said he could still rule that all the other unlawful information gathering techniques, all of those allegations are also filed too late. And he even outlined a potential route for him to do that. He just said he can't do it right now. He's got to try those points. Let more evidence be put forward. Let it be thrashed out and argued in court properly. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Harry is basically on notice that there is a healthy chance he loses the whole yeah. case. Uh, Jack, let me ask you, where are you joining us from this morning? From London, yeah. from London. Okay, yeah, from let London. me ask you this. With Harry and Meghan now out of the picture, they're not part of the royal family anymore. Um, not only where does their relationship stand with uh, tabloids there, but also just for people in the UK in general. I mean, what's the overall consensus of this couple now at this point? 
So Harry and Meghan still make really, really big news in Britain. They are in the papers all the time. There is kind of a bit of a narrative where a lot of people want to say they're kind of fed up with it and they don't want to hear any more from Harry and Meghan or about Harry and Meghan. And yet it still makes massive news every time that they do something and it gets huge amounts of interaction on social media. So there definitely still is an audience for hearing about them. But in Britain, they have kind of... Uh, achieved a sort of pariah status where they've become the villains of the story and are disliked by, based on polling data, by around two thirds of the British public. So that is a huge swing from, you know, back when Harry was working royal and 70 to 80 percent of the British public liked him. That's now swung right back the other way. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.